Today we're going to be talking about how to find the equation of a parabola. In this particular problem, we've been given that the vertex of the parabola is at the point 2, 3, that the parabola has a vertical axis, and that the parabola passes through the point 1, 5. So if we draw just a really quick graph of this parabola, what we see immediately, if we say that the vertex roughly here is at 2, 3, maybe something like this, this point, if we have then a vertical axis like this, then we know right away that the parabola is either going to open up or open down, given the fact that we have a vertical axis. We also know that the parabola passes through the point 1, 5, which is going to be about right here. So automatically, because we have that point, we know that the parabola must open up because it passes through a point that is higher than its vertex. So we know we have a parabola that opens up and we know that it shifted off of the origin. Our vertex is not at the origin 0, 0, it's at 2, 3. So it's a shifted parabola that opens up. And I've written the formula for the equation of a parabola that shifted and opens up. It's this one right here. If you have trouble remembering these formulas, you can use the chart that I have on my website to help yourself memorize them. But you'll notice here that we have on this chart a column for axis. We know that our axis is a vertical axis, which means it has to be in the form x equals something. The equation of the axis will be the line x equals, in our case, 2. So we know we're on the first half of the chart. We know that we have a shifted parabola. The vertex is not at 0, 0. So we know we're either in the second line here or the fourth line here. And then we know that the parabola opens up because we have that 0.15 that's above the vertex. So that puts us in the second row here, a parabola that opens up that's shifted. And here's the equation of that parabola. So you can always refer to that table if you need help. And that's on my website. So Here's the equation that we're going to use. Now we just need to plug in the information we've been given to solve for h, k, and p. Well, in our case here, h and k come directly from the vertex. This vertex is in the form h, comma, k. So we can just plug in 2 for h, and we get x minus 2 squared equals 4p times y minus k, which is 3. From here now, all we need to do is solve for p, and the way that we'll do that is by plugging in the point that we've been given, 1, 5, to our equation. So we'll plug in 1 for x, we'll get 1 minus 2 squared equals 4p. We'll plug in 5 for y, and we'll get 5 minus 3. When we simplify this, here we'll get negative 1 squared, which is a positive 1, will be 4p times 5 minus 3, which is 2. We get 1 equals 8p or p equals 1 8th. So now we can plug p back into this equation here. And what we get is x minus 2 squared equals 4 times 1 8th is just 1 half. So we get 1 half out in front here times y minus 3. And we can leave the equation in this form, but sometimes it's nice to solve for y because it's what we're used to seeing for the equation of parabola, y equals, and then something in terms of x. So if we want to do that, we can multiply both sides by 2. So what we get is 2 times x minus 2 squared equals y minus 3. Multiplying both sides by 2 gets rid of the 1 half here. And then if we add 3 to both sides, what we're left with is just y equals 2 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 3. And that's it. That's the equation of the parabola that satisfies all of the information that we were given in the original problem. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.